What is going on hunters? Welcome back to another edition of Helix's Wild Hunts. Today I'm going to be hunting with my good friend Axel from Crispy Pixel. How are you doing today Axel? I'm alright. I'm glad to hear that. We're going to be hunting three different monsters today. The Ballyde, Gendrome, and also a Golden Caser Bear, which we haven't actually seen yet. So that's going to be the new monster for today's episode. And I'm going to be trying out the Gun Lance as requested by a lot of you. So thank you so much for those suggestions and comments. I love hearing back from them. So uh, let's get hunting. So for, for anyone that's uh, watching now, if you are trying to play with someone that hasn't unlocked certain monsters, if there is a restriction. You have to actually let them get through the story mode first before you try hunting with them. So just be aware of that. We learned that the hard way. <laughs> yeah, that was like an hour and a half of running around, grinding. But that's okay. Monster Hunter, it's all about the grind. <laughs> it is a fun grind, just not when you're fighting Genprey. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Nobody does. So now, the reason I'm also recording this mission is I'm hoping that because we're doing this for the first time, it's actually going to show the cutscene that I didn't get it to record last time. So here's hoping. I think I think Balladay is over here in the first starting zone. I'll try my hardest not to skip the cutscene. Definitely don't skip the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah, we get to show the cutscene too, and with my character. That's awesome. It doesn't show you for some reason. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Axel. This cut it shows both of us, but the cutscene is actually glitching out for me. Oh, really? Yeah, things are flashing, so it's definitely in-game. Yeah, it's it's not flashing for me on this side, thankfully. <laughs> my, my... My character's waist armor is bouncing. Um, there is some graphical glitches, though. The monster keeps uh, disappearing and reappearing, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> we are connected to a Chinese server. Oh, here we go. Alright, cool. All right. So she ran away. You know what's weird? It showed her in my cutscene, but it didn't show you beside me. Oh, it showed you, but not her for me. Oh, that would've been amazing. So right now, we're gonna be trying out the Gun Lance, and um, I got a chance to play with it for a little bit. And it's pretty much the same as uh, you'd expect from all the other games. You have, uh, well, depending on, I guess, the weapon, you get different uh, shells to use or rounds. You can reload by holding the shield button and then pressing the circle button on the PlayStation 3 controller. I was going to say PlayStation 2 controller for some reason. I have no idea why. And I will show you guys how Wyvern's Fire works. So it's just basically holding down the attack and circle button at the same time. Let's see if it lands. Boom! Oh. Did that actually show on your screen? Yes, it did. Awesome. It's pretty nice boom. We're going to get some barbecued uh, spider later today. Now, Axel, uh, I've actually been watching your channel a lot, and I really love your content. You do uh, reviews for uh, different games here and there, and you do a lot of really great editing, too. Um, what made you start deciding to do uh, the reviews? Um, I had always wanted to do, like, more in-depth videos. Then one day I played Pitfall The Lost Expedition. I thought, oh my god, this game is the biggest piece of shit. And then made a video <laughs> about it. <laughs> that is my story. Oh, that is gross. Yeah, that's uh, if you break the back and you see his little, uh, it looks almost like a brain sack. It's, I don't know what to describe it. It's gruesome. Not expect that. Be happy that you weren't behind it when it actually exploded <laughs> all over my, my character. <laughs> so much of this game is just like a slightly different game feel than the official ones. So it just. I don't know, kind of just off puts me. Like it feels slightly wrong. There is a little bit obviously there that, that feels a little bit different from the regular series, but that's that's because this is made by the other company, Tencent, that's Tencent, I think it's called. Yeah, it's made by like a secondary developer who just kind of had the license. Like I think the actual story of this game was um a Chinese company was developing a Monster Hunter ripoff. And then Capcom says, here, just take the license since we can't release the game in your country. Oh, that's awesome. I actually didn't know the storyline behind uh, how this game came to uh, be created. Like, obviously, that might be slightly off. It's just what I've heard. You know what? I don't know enough to disagree with it, so... <laughs> Why did his brain goo turn blue? Oh, that's because uh, when he's in rage mode, it turns red. Ah. So right now he's just in uh, not-so-rage uh, mode. Those are, those are pretty and tame now, rage. Now he's in rage. I'm going to do Wyvern Fire here again. If you guys don't know about Wyvern Fire, it's a, a move that you get to do once every... You said it's a minute and a half before you recharge? Um, it depends on 
what weapon. type of gun lance it is, like if it's long, normal, or wide. And um, it also depends on your artillery skill, which I assume is at zero right now. Probably, and I, I I don't know if there is an artillery skill in this one, like if they decide to do it like the other Monster Hunter games. Yeah, especially since Gun Lance was just recently added, so yeah, I mean that armor skill wasn't needed. Not to mention, they also add, they're going to be planning on adding the the regular Lance, and also uh, Tigrex is being added to the roster, so that's that's going to be fun on March. I think March first it is that they're going to add it. He's dead. Uh, there we go. Boom. That was really oh, easy. Yeah. He didn't move around as much as I expected him to. This is a cool design. Yeah, I really like the design too. Very shiny. I was saying that he reminded me a lot of a Hermitar, but as a spider. <laughs> yeah, as like a... I mean, he reminds me of a Sculptula from Zelda. Actually, yeah, because there is a face on his... Oh, yeah! I'm like, I'm, I'm angling the camera right now to his uh, body piece, and it looks like there's eyes and uh, a face on it. Yeah, there's like a skull on his back. I mean, I feel like that's an act, there's an actual spider that has a skull on it because I, I've seen the same monster in Dark Souls too. Where is he? Oh, here we go. There he is. He's in Zone Seven. Oh, I just left there. Yeah, he just showed up now. <laughs> now I didn't mention this in the previous fight here, but I am actually using the Yan Cuckoo armor, so I look like a cowboy this time around. Don't paralyze me. Oh, oh, I was like, what? Me? I, don't, I don't even know how to do the kick animation to, to get you out of it, too, so I, I apologize for that. Well, can we? Can you even do that? Again. Can you get paralyzed again? What? <laughs> there we go. There's actually another thing in this game. You can't hit your teammate with your attacks. Yeah, I don't know why they took that out. I didn't get a chance to say this either, too, in the, the other fight when I was asking about your channel, but, uh, guys, if you haven't checked Crispy Pixel, uh, sorry, Axel's channel, uh, Crispy Pixel, I highly recommend checking out. He makes amazing videos and reviews. He puts a lot of effort into it. You guys would really like it. Right, thank you. I'll put, uh, the link in the description below for the episode. Oh, went flying there. Sorry. I really, I really wanted to plug your channel. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's okay. Most people wouldn't do that. Well, those people are dicks. <laughs> that is true. And I want to make a random reference to a friend that none of your viewers know, so... I'll just leave that to you. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll start a mob a mob group against him. <laughs> no, he's a cool guy, I just like making fun of him. You know, I'm kind of glad that we can't hit each other because I totally would have poked you out of your charge <laughs> there. Um, you can't poke out of greatsword charges normally, but if you shot a bullet, it would have gotten launched. Yeah, and you would have been on fire a little bit. Well, fake fire. <laughs> not not the real fire, the, <laughs> that, that fake kind of fire. <laughs> he gets up way too fast from this, too. I, I just literally ran over. Where are you? God, it is so annoying to fight this guy with a greatsword. You can't do full charge, it's just a Pokemon. I really like the, the fact that with the Gun Lance, you, you have that versatility with not only doing really strong attacks, but still getting to shield yourself, getting close with the monster, and then do some really neat combos with the, the shells that you have equipped for it. Well, I guess it's not you don't equip, it's just, I guess, depending on the weapon. Yeah, there's like three different types. The normal, which just shoots a standard bullet. Oh, he died. I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, here's the cutscene. Oh. What you doing, man? If it wasn't for Unknown Blue Man here, <laughs> we totally would have died. He puts us to shame. Yep. <laughs> if only Longsword was that cool. And he did that wrong and very anticlimactic, too. He was supposed <laughs> to do that little move where, like, the Gendrum is in the background just kind of standing there still, and then he, like, sheathes his weapon, and then it falls down. Totally did it wrong. God, messed it up. He had one job. Was I saying a thing before this? Oh, yeah, I was, I was explaining Gunland shot types, if anyone cares. Basically, there are three shot types for Gunlance. There's Normal, which just shoots a normal pellet in, like, a kind of a sphere in front of you. And you can load five shots with that. Long, which shoots farther out, and you can only have three shots. And wide, which 
much stronger shots. They shoot in a wide area, and you can only carry two. And there's definitely like advantages and disadvantages to each. In the main games, you don't want to be using wide with a party because it launches your teammates constantly. But, but I guess that doesn't matter in this game. Yeah, it's not an <laughs> issue at all here. Um, the Quite one nice. that I was using, the one that I was using, has three shells. So I'm not sure what type I'm using. Did you say it was a, a wide that shot or long? Long, long. Okay. The advantage to long is that it charges wyvern fire a lot quicker. Like out of all the animals, why, why did they pick beaver? Because we're Canadian. Oh yeah. And they they knew that. And which, by the way, uh, viewers, we just found out that we both live like, like literally next to each other, <laughs> which is the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, I did not expect that. Yeah, no, definitely didn't expect that. It was just like one thing after another. Oh, you're Canadian? Yeah. Oh, you live in this city? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you live like, where, whereabouts in the city? Like right there. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why she looks like a weird Alice in Wonderland. I, I was uh, just going to say, what is she wearing? <laughs> All right, so we're hunting the golden caser bear. So you guys have already seen the regular caser bear, and this one has a... He is fancy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a lot of other new move sets. Oh. But uh, he does this one move set where he starts digging, and you start seeing, I guess, mud appearing on the map. So if you walk in it, you get a debuff for slow for a little bit. No. So just be aware of that. Oh, I just noticed that my greatsword charges leave a mark on the ground. Oh, yeah, it's really cool. I like attention to detail. You don't see it enough. Yeah, this one, this uh, Caser Bear is actually a lot more difficult, and he hits a lot harder too, so... Whoa! I didn't oh, crap, I forgot about that move! That's right, representing the, the beavers, just because uh, I knew that we were a couple of Canadian dudes playing Monster Hunter. As an aside, have you ever actually seen a beaver in real life? I actually have not. I've seen one once, and it was roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I... Yeah, no, I've never seen one, ever. There. Oh, see, okay, so here's the, the move that he does, oh, and then no. he'll dig and... Uh, no. Oh, no! I think I hit him right before he dug Not in. Bad. Is he leaving, or just... Oh, he's just doing that stuff. So now do you see the, oh, the hey. map is a little bit changed? There it is. Oh, where okay, are you? Good. Good. Oh. Sorry, I didn't see that you were covered in uh, I'm mud. I'm not getting that. Oh, no, nope, don't do that. Ah, oh, it hit me. Oh, wow, that did a lot of oh, damage. Oh, I got hit too. Ah, oh, we're all covered in mud. I, 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 we can't help each other. <laughs> I don't think we got now, the neat thing, though, is that it does show you the how long the debuff lasts for. So when we're covered in mud, it says, like, I think five seconds. That is a very nice touch to this game. That's that's one of the things I hope they bring into MH5. Yeah. Oh, no. I got hugged. What are the odds that we're going to see Monster Hunter X here? It's hard to say. It's whether we see X in one here or X in U in two, assuming that exists. This is, this is a weird now, point of the series that they haven't really done with one. Yeah, because I was going to say, is it... Um, oh, I see you covered in mud here, sorry, hold on a second. Just run around! Run around, Crispy! I mean, Axel, sorry. I, I, you know what? I gotta learn to stop doing that. Nah, it's it's alright. <laughs> Most people on the internet go by their pseudonyms, but... I'm that weird one who does it. Yeah. I'm, I'm Helix all day, every day. You'd think he'd be more friendly, you know, being a beaver. Oh! Though. I broke his face! I'm gonna try to get a Wyvern. Wyvern fire! Wyvern fire! Nice! Nice. Landed a good one there. You know what, though? That That's one thing that I really have loved about doing the series, that everyone that's been watching, and if I say something incorrect, I always get corrected, so... Really, really appreciate that from the viewers. It, uh, this game has a dedicated fan base. Oh, it's it's awesome. It's one of the few games where I can say I'm a member of the fan base. Oh yeah, for sure. And and they're very helpful too, from what I've said. Like, there's a lot of fan bases around the, the internet for certain games that don't really have very nice fans. <laughs> uh, games like uh, Counter Strike or League of Legends, where when you're starting out, you are the villain. Yep. Look, stop lagging. Yeah, I had a bit of lag showing up, but for the most part, it's been pretty good. Like I haven't seen. I know when we Ow. first start, when we started like hunting at the beginning here, we were getting a little bit of lag, but it wasn't too bad, right? It, it was pretty bad at first. It was. It was pretty bad. You you died randomly. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just for a velocity drop, so it's all right. No! I'm sharpening my weapon. Hold on, let me see if I can get you out of there. I really need to figure out how to do the kick animation and, uh... Did I get Thank you? you? Yeah, okay, so when you're actually... When you actually need to get hit, it works. Yeah, only that. They, right. they, they took out the whole being able to troll your friends kind of yeah, thing, I think. Got rid of tripping and launching. Ooh. Wyvern's fire! Nice. Thank you for standing still. I don't know if uh, you can break his tail or anything like that. I haven't seen that yet. I, it seems like it would be, huh? It's a pretty big tail. I doubt you can cut it, but it does seem like you can crack it. And now, when I'm, I should be reloading, I haven't been, so... Limping. I think he's actually going to be running away now. Uh, he was bailing. I made my presence known. Oh, nice. In the face. Nice. Beauty. Ow. Ooh. One of my favorite combos with the, the gun lance is actually the final hit where he slams the lance on the ground and then you can actually shoot uh, one of the, the, the shells yeah, at the same time. Yeah, all shells at once. Pretty huge damage. Is it all the shells at once? I think I think I haven't really been paying attention too much to how many I'm using during that move. <laughs> yeah, it uses every shell you have loaded with that, and damage is based on how many you have loaded. So if you're using normal type gun lance with five shells, it does the most damage. Except it keeps moving when I'm getting close to the final combo hit, so I haven't been too lucky with that. Yeah, that's what oh. happens in this game. But see what I mean? It's oh, it. nice! Nice! Beauty. I can see the scratch mark <laughs> and you crawling <laughs> awkwardly towards its body. <laughs> yeah, that was the golden caser bear. As uh, I was about to mention it too, that he you noticed that it was a little bit more difficult. Huh? <laughs> it took a bit longer. It's starting to actually feel like Monster Hunter. Oh, thank God. I've noticed this game has been lacking the challenge so far, but it'll get there. Uh, one thing too that I'll, I'll let my viewers know too, if, if you actually have noticed that every time that I've been selecting the monsters during the, the quest board, I guess when you walk towards the gate, uh, there's actually a secondary option where you can actually pick a hard mode of the monster and it actually feels more like Monster Hunter 2 if you are doing it that way. So if you want a good challenge from the get-go, just start doing that for the hard mode. All right, hunters, that wraps up another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the Gunlance and also the monsters that we hunted, especially the Golden Caser Bear. You got to see a new monster again for this uh, episode. And thanks so much, uh, Axel, for joining me on the hunts. That was a lot of fun. No problem. Uh, hopefully we can do some other episodes in the future with other party members, and hopefully Axel will come and join us in for uh, future hunts when we actually start getting to some of the more meaner, nastier monsters. I definitely will. We can't be too far from Arathian now. No, we can't be. <laughs> All right, so keep the requests coming. If you want to see other specific weapons or have any questions about the games, let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you check out Axel's channel, Crispy Pixel. I'll keep the description link uh, right here, right below my character. You'll see it pop up. Happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level. Goodbye.